Australian drug smugglers Smaran Sukumaran and Andrew Chan have been put to death, as you would know by now, in Indonesia. That happened this morning, along with six others. It comes despite appeals for clemency from across the globe. The Filipino woman, Mary Jane Veloso, who was set to be put to death as part of the group, was spared at the last minute. Amnesty International has long been campaigning for the abolition of the death penalty. With me now is Executive Director Grant Balden. Um, Grant, thank you very much for joining us this morning. Um, first of all, we need to mark the wood. The um, uh, the clemency shown to Mary Jane Veloso was, was I'm sure, greeted with open arms by yourself. A- absolutely. Quite extraordinary the way that happened with, with someone coming forward and confessing just, just days before the executions were due to take place. The international pleas that, that took place. And it's just a reminder, really, of, of how difficult often it is to be sure um, that someone really is guilty, that that, that execution uh, can go ahead, especially in a country like Indonesia. You look at how difficult in New Zealand it's been to get watertight convictions. Mm. Indonesia, a system with so much corruption throughout the criminal justice system, can they really ever be completely sure? And actually, Mary Jane's is a very good example of this, because just reading the cases against all of those that were set for execution today, I, I mean, you didn't have to be a legal expert to see that there were holes as, uh, big enough to land a Harrier jump jet in, in the case that they had against her. Well, throughout this, you've seen a, a lot of political involvement in the cases. Uh, most, most of these prisoners have been on death row for 10 years. Indonesia hasn't been practising the death penalty for some time up mm-hmm. until this year. Then they've been plucked off death row in what seems to be an attempt by the Indonesian president to look tough. This is playing very popularly back home in Indonesia for him. All right, um, let's talk about your opposition to the death penalty because it's across the board. Um, Amnesty Inter- International is against the death penalty full stop. Why? Well, for, for many reasons. Uh, the death penalty has never been shown to be a, an effective deterrent against crime. In fact, many studies have shown that, that it's not at all. Um, also, uh, a, as, we've, as we've mentioned, very difficult to get actually watertight convictions to know um, beyond really any doubt that someone is guilty. Uh, the United States, with all the legal processes it has, has an estimated 4% They have made um, some fundamental rate. but very high-profile mistakes in the past. A- absolutely, they have. Um, so, so we know that the death penalty is never the answer. It, it's cost the Indonesian government millions and millions of dollars to run these executions and the process leading up to them. If they were really trying to prevent crime, spending that money on crime yeah. deterrence w- would be a far more effective way to do that. Is now a very good time, because obviously it's very high profile, this debate. Is now a good time to try and... Um, to try and put a stop to this in Indonesia? Well, well it absolutely is. The, the Indonesian... Are they listening, do you think? Do they care what the Australians, what the French, what the rest of the world think about them? Well, unfortunately, some of the international opposition on this, the, the, the way the Australians have played this politically, has, has really played into the Indonesian uh, president's hands because he's been seen as getting tough against foreign opposition. So, so we need to be careful how we play this. But the Indonesian government is absolutely on the wrong side of history. When Amnesty International started working against the death penalty back in the 1970s, over a hundred countries still executed. Now we're down to just 21 last year who executed, we're, but we're really down to the hardcore, and mm. it's the remaining 21 countries that are the hardest to crack, that are, that are the hardest to bring in line. But, but they are on the wrong side of history, and we're confident that eventually the death penalty will be a thing of the past. We saw some high-profile pleas to Tony Abbott from um, high-profile people, actors, what they would know in particular is of no interest to us. Um, should Tony Abbott have done something differently? Should he have travelled to Indonesia himself? in those last few days and pleaded personally? Uh, it's, it's it's very difficult to say, and I, and I don't think that's a question I can I can really comment on. Um, clearly, the the world needs to speak out about the death penalty, and and, and we need to say that this isn't acceptable in a, in a modern civilized world. All right, Grant, thank you very much for joining us. Uh, Grant Belden from Amnesty International, the executive director in New Zealand. The seven. 